after Long, long ago, there was a man named Joe who lived a good life and always obeyed God's laws. He had been taught as a true man of God. Through his labors, he was able to buy chickens and a donkey and a goat. <clears throat> One day, God spoke to Jonah. Jonah, huh? Jonah, who's that? My earring beach. Jonah. I am the Lord God. <clears throat> There's a city called Nineveh far away. They're filled with wicked people and they got wicked lies. They have forgotten about kindness and helping others. Why are you telling me about them, God? Because I want you to go there and tell those wicked people I'm going to destroy them in their city because of their wicked ways. Y yes, Lord. I will go, but they won't listen to their evils. More Jonah thought about it, more unevil he became. That night, Jonah did not sleep very well. No, it'll hurt me. Nineveh is so far. They will laugh at me. No, Jonah is denying God's plan for him. Nineveh, those people. People don't even know about God. Why should they believe me? They might try to kill me. More Jonah thought about those wicked people, the more frightened he became. He decided to run away from God. That very night, he packed us, his clothes and hurried to the ship. The next morning, he saw a ship. That is getting to sail far across the sea. Ho, who goes there? And Jonah said, Sure, a please, Captain, let me come with you. I'll give all my money for a please on ship. Uh, looks like trouble to me. Well, I guess we're just running away from. I guess we can find a place for you. Jonah bore to the ship and he deep in the hold, as far away from God as he could. At last, I saw the anchor being drawn, drawn up into the gate. At last, he saw the out and open sea. God will never find me now. <sighs> I'm going to have a new life for myself. As soon as the ship was far, was far from land, God sent a storm. For no one can hide from God. God said, great gust and flying over the sea. And wave crashing over the ship. Man, I'm Dick. We're digging out an overboard. Captain, we're sinking. We need to overboard the ship. Throw the cargo's overboard. The sailors went, under, went inside the ship. Look, he's sound asleep. We need all hands on deck. Deck, deck. Well, hey, wake up, wake up. Come, we have no time to wake him now. As the sailors closed the door, Jonah War fell asleep. That uh, outside, it was dark as night. The sailors began to throw their cargo <coughs> overboard. Jonah will really find it. Only one thing will save the ship. Stop! Stop! You must throw me into the water instead. What are you saying? We can't throw an innocent man in to this angry sea. Listen, God has sent this storm to punish me. Punish? Why? I tried to run away from him, and now he has found me. If he throw him over now, he'll surely drown. But the wind and the waves are too much for us. We have no choice. The sailors grabbed Jonah and threw him into the sea. The sea became calm. Down, down, down into the season. Gasping and nearly drowning, but God was not yet finished for Jonah. He sent a big fish to swallow Jonah in one gulp. Jonah found himself in the stomach of the great fish. Oh, it's so dark in here. What will become for me now? Maybe God will still hear me. Jonah turned to the Lord. Lord, thank you for saving me. I'm sorry I tried to hide from you. Please let me out of this terrible prison. 
I will do as you commanded. God heard Jonah and he made a change. He made the fish spit out Jonah onto the wind. Thank you, worshipful Lord, for delivering me, save me to land. Now, Jonah, go to Nineveh and tell those wicked people I'm going to destroy them. Yes, Lord, I'm listening. I'm on my way. Jonah and her the city calling to the people. People of Nineveh, listen to me. The Lord God will destroy you in your city. Stop your wicked ways. What? You hear that? You have anger die. He said the Lord is angry with us. Why? What have we done? You are faith and faith and shellfish. Maybe if we change our ways, we'd be too concerned with our fancy clothes. You're greedy and unkind. We should cherish your poor and thirst. We've been eating too much and not caring about our hungry neighbors. It's true. We've been selfish. God will punish you. We must all pray to the Lord for forgiveness. The people heard Jonah pray to God and began meaning their ways. Meanwhile, Jonah climbed the hill and sat down to watch God destroy. He waited and waited. I feel like a fool. All my work has wasted. God is not destroying Nineveh. Jonah. Yes, Lord. Jonah will never learn my love. My love is great. It is greater than my anger. And it's all from my creatures. Did I give another chance? Yes, you did. Now I'm giving the Ninevites another chance. Go now, Jonah, and try to love beside you. Then you'll be a true man of God. Yay for God! He is forgiving us. Hooray, hooray! So Jonah began his long journey home and tried to love as God had taught him. 